Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee mocks BJP-led state government upon losing third best chief minister's rank as per latest India Today report. Attendees of Combined Hills Leaders Day and Miyamgi Numit at Chief Minister's Bungalow today urge authority concerns to shun selective discharge of duties. Commando Moray arrests a man in possession of heroin powder worth over 13 lakh rupees in international markets from Moray to Rail Wangma. Mobilization Subcommittee of October Mass Rally 2018 appeals to make October 31 Mass Rally a grand success. Says over 1.5 lakh people will attend the rally. Mahud Minister Thanojam Shyam Kumar assures to reconstruct two markets in Wangoi constituency. And Huyen Lalong Manipur Thangta Cultural Association celebrates Diamond Jubilee today. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Rusham with the top stories and the latest news at this hour. Three former members of Congress party, including a former MLA, rejoined Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee. Leaders of MPCC have criticized the BJP and the state governments bought at the center and the state during the reception ceremony held at Congress Bhavan Imphal today. Speaking on the occasion, member of Congress Working Committee, former Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam drew the attention of Governor Dr. Naj Mahaptula and urged her to be the Governor of Manipur and not a BJP Governor. The former Deputy Chief Minister also mocked Chief Minister Nong Thongma Birain over the hast celebration on him being included in the top three Chief Ministers of India as the latest survey report of India today do not include his name. The new entrants into the party are former MLA Khetri Gao, Thangjam Nanda Kishore, social worker Loitong Bam, Narendra Elias Shanti, son of former minister from Congress party Loitong Bam Amujao, and social worker of Andro Constituency K. N. Singh. Taking part in the reception, former Chief Minister Okram Ibobi accused BJP governments at the centre and state of duping public with sugar-coated strategies to rule the government. He questioned whether changes BJP promises are destruction of welfare projects undertaken during the Congress government. Meanwhile, MPCC President T.N. Haukip asserted that Congress will triumph in four states, leaving aside Telangana, in the upcoming elections of five states. He also disclosed that pamphlets citing differences between NDA and UPA governments will be distributed to every household of India by the end of February next year. ตัวนึงเดชะเจ็บเลยอาชมเดมานอารานบ่ปอลิซีมยามเจอหิงหนงย้ายเดลอกทุกปะโตชีเดชูอมุกมณีปุรีมุสีเจหิงหนงย้
Biden expressed his desire to serve the people and carry out various welfare works. On the other hand, attendees complained that many departmental staffs and authorities concerned remained selective in discharging their duties and sometimes even failed to take up measures according to instructions given by the chief minister. ขึ้นมาเนี่ยลูกพยายามเคยเห็นอะไรที่พอเสียมาตั้งแต่ผ่านมาสิ่งนี้ปีเดียวจีนิมสกีเด็กจีนิมสกีโฆษณาเนาะ
Kaino Maira Paibi, Kaino Gram Panchayat, Nisha Thingbalub, Manipur Minority Commission and members of various churches in the state jointly staged a sit-in at Kaino Thongkha Community Hall today, condemning the planting of bomb at Kaino Maite Church yesterday. Taking part in the sit-in, leader of the church, Leishang Tem Ranabir, demanded persons involved in the act to clarify themselves at the earliest. A six-month-old pregnant woman was found hanging in her marital home. The deceased is identified as Nongthongbam Tampa Ibema, 36 years, wife of Maishnam Ruby from Singjame Chingamaka, Kongkham, Lerak. The incident occurred yesterday around 4 p.m. Postmortem was conducted at Reims Mok today. Mother of the deceased, Nongthongbam Sanatombi, suspected foul play and lodged an FIR at Singjame Police Station against Maishnam Ruby and his family. It may be mentioned that Nongthongbam Tampa Ibema worked as assistant inspector in the Education S Department. Brother of the deceased Nongthongbam Manoranjan said that her sister earlier complained of mental torture by her husband and his family. He claimed that Tampa Ibema sent him a suicide note on WhatsApp stating that her husband and his family harassed her. Manoranjan also refused to take her body until the truth behind her sister's death is revealed. <laughs> ก็มาจุอิรามีนุไงตบมาจุอิรามีอดุกะมาบูลานุอูคิบะมีซึ่งดูบูซูมานุฟอร์เกฟตอเรเนอะมานะยามนะเปียนดันอิรามีอดุน
Mahut Minister Thanojam Shyam Kumar has assured to construct two modern markets in Wangwei constituency under the Mahut Department. He was speaking in the 52nd Foundation Day celebration of Samurao Market today. Shyam Kumar stated that people of Wangwei constituency long ago approached him to reconstruct Samurao, Wangwei and Thongkong Lakshmi markets. He said due to constraints in the state budget, all the three markets cannot be reconstructed at once, but are short of renovating two markets under the Mahut Department. He asked the people to decide which two markets they want to renovate first. The minister also assured of renovating historical Tiam Leshang Tem Haibong Makong under the funding of the forest and environment. Shyam Kumar urged people to keep Samurao Market, a major market for the people in the area, neat and clean. He assured of assistance from the Mahu Department in filling up all the inadequacies reported time to time by Samurao Municipal Council about the market. MLA Wangoi and Vice Chairperson of MIDA Oinam Lukhoi, former MLA and Vice President of BJP Manipur Pradesh Salam Joy, Chairperson of Samuro Municipal Council L. Noni Bala and many people attended the event. Chairperson of the Council also submitted a memorandum to the Mahut Minister for improving Samuro Market and other areas under the Council on the occasion. ไม่มีอะไรเสียงเสียงเกิดเหตุไหนมีรู้ไหมอะไรเสียงเกิดเหตุนั้นมันดูร้านธรรมบัตรไปสิเมื่อวันที่ก็เลยมีอะไรเส
Speaking in the event, Deputy Director, Directorate of Environment, Dr. T. Braja Kumar said, the workshop aims to come up with resolutions on how to combat changing climatic conditions and submit the same to the state government. We will try to have to know the existing policies, whatever you have and whatever the government have, whatever their other organizations have. Then after having this policy, then we will try to work together to formulate or to transform into the working pattern. So how we can work on the ground. This is our main agenda for today. After having this exercise, we will try to integrate our inputs or recommendations to the state government's document. This is undergoing in the process into finalized that called State Action Plan for Climate Change version 2. So that we can have a good opportunity to do work in your places and our places. So that we can have some good policy for adaptation as well as mitigation of climate change. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on Diamond Jubilee celebration of Huyen Lalong Manipur Thangta Cultural Association. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English News. Huyen Lalong Manipur Thangta Cultural Association celebrated Diamond Jubilee at its office in Iril Bung today. Padma Shri Guru Gorakeshwar Sharma established the association 60 years ago. Speaking in the event, Art and Culture Minister Lampulakpam Jayanta Kumar appeals to con contribute in safeguarding the art and culture of the state as the budget allotted by the government has always been very minimal. He assured to make efforts to enhance the budget amount from next session. The minister highlighted that the art and culture of the state occupy a distinct place in the world. He stressed the need to safeguard and promote Thangtha in the world as Guru Gorakeshwar did in the past. He urged arts enthusiasts to come together and bring forth the much-awaited development in the field of art and culture. Taking part in the celebration, MLA Khetrigao Nahakpam Indrajit assured to, take, assured to start construction of Manipur Cultural University in Wakha at the earliest as budget has been already sanctioned for the same. <laughs> Building us has a habit to be late for the year. Art and culture, Nuxi, Nuxi, have art and culture. I get it, that's man, put a high art and culture there. But she's a hot number of Savakan, Kana Turkey and you. Pena, Jacaraway, the lady again. Kongjumba, Jacaraway, the lady again. Kulung, we say, Kulung, we say, Jacaraway again, I was there. But so he yells you. As you almost later, but don't talk about it. Adu Mase, she and Bayat, the Kilponi, Manuka Dovino. These art forms shows our identity. I think Lakadu Makli budget the ID Hagan Yugo. Art and culture department, which has said, Masse, it is too big here. Satin and Pigman Great Masse, Hena Tokoto, Tabata Ragadi, the art and culture department, Mutala Sena in Hain Yugo. Pantubi Housing Finance Company Limited became the first sponsor of Manipur Sangai Festival 2018 today. Chairman and Managing Director of the company T H Hemo handed over a sponsor check of five lakh rupees to Chief Minister Nong Thongpong Biren at Chief Minister's Secretariat. Chief Minister Biren expressed happiness and appreciated Pantubi Housing Finance Company Limited for the help. The company is now a diamond sponsor and has earned two exhibition stalls. Logo of the company will also be printed on the ticket of Sangai Festival. 2018. The 15-day National Handloom Expo 2018 kicked off at Manipur Trade and Expo Center in Lamboy Kong Nang Kong with the participation of 100 different stalls today. The Directorate of Handloom and Textiles and Manipur Apex Handloom Weavers and Handicraft Artisans CS Limited Imphal jointly organized the expo. Speaking at the sidelines, Board Director of Manipur Apex Handloom Weavers and Handicraft Artisans CS Limited Imphal S. Bhubon intimated impact news that the National Expo will provide benefits to weavers of the state to a great extent. He said many people from outside the state and companies will come to buy various products of the local weavers and artisans. Emily Lamshang and Chairman of Manipur Handlooms and Handicraft Development Corporation Limited S. Rajan graced the expo launch as a chief guest. Hamasi tongan tongan be istet ki bayar, amadi nesnen bayar maya ama laakan de pigi quality singa si yeng laga piron putholi be maya singa si maya amda pangan nabni aduna akoi na directorate of helums 
and a textile government of Manipur. Amadi Manipur, Apex Helum Weaver, and Handicraft Artisans of Society Limina Anina, Office of Development Commissioner for Helum's Ministry of Textiles, Government of Manipur. A government of India, Makada, Equina, Hariba, Nestan, Helum Expo, Ase, Tankun Mangadi, Horoga, Aquina, Yungitani Pan, Buxat, Gadabani. A two-day mega philatelic exhibition, Manipex 2018, kicked off at Imphal Head Post Office today. Department of Post Manipur Division organized the exhibition where different stamps were displayed on the first day today. Speaking in the event, retired IAS R.K. Nimai urged students to take up stamp collection as a hobby. Memorizing and quiz competitions for students were also conducted as part of the exhibition. Uh, stamp collection gives lots of information. See, uh, when I rhododendron, I have never seen rhododendron, though I have heard. But when I got a stamp from Bhutan, the rhododendron arboreum, then I suddenly re realized the beauty of it. Later on, when I become an adult and when I joined the government service, then I find that it's growing in Siroy Hill. Uh, and in the Tangkul, it is co co called the Cochleon. So it, it increases the uh, one's knowledge of different parts of the globe. Saiti Academy New Delhi will organize Yuva Puruskar Award distribution event come All India Young Writers Festival at Tribal Research Institute in Chingmerong from October 26 till 28. Briefing media at Manipur Press Club today, Academy Secretary K. Srinivas Rao stated that young writers under 35 years selected out of 24 languages will be accorded the award during the three-day event. Writers meet and book reading sessions will also be conducted during the festival. Tribal languages, unrecognized language. We want to preserve and promote the languages which are not in the eight schedule and not recognized by the Sahit Academy. Every year we give four languages from the throat India because India, you know very well, in the northeast itself we have a 200 plus languages. So every year we uh, give four Bhasha Sammans for the unrecognized languages. Film Forum Manipur paid floral tributes to Manipuri film producer Prem Beer Oinam, who succumbed to kidney failure in a hospital at Delhi yesterday. It may be recalled that Prem Beer took a great role in Manipuri films and produced popular Manipuri films like Miki T1, Miki T2 and Maruki Maru. His body was brought at the Forum's office in Lumfell where film fraternities of the state mourned over his demise. They observed a two-minute silence as a mark of respect to the departed soul. Speaking in the event, President of Film Forum Manipur S. Mangol Jao stated that that of Prembir Oinam has left an irreplaceable void in Manipuri film industry. All Manipur Films Maker and Producers Association also condoled the demise of producer Prembir Oinam. In a press release, the association stated that a two-minute silence was observed at the association's office as a mark of respect to the departed soul. Kanglaipa Kanba Loop has demanded to declare construction site of Raj Leela Hall inside Kangla as a monument and bring it under a protected area or to shift construction of Raj Leela Hall elsewhere. Briefing media at Manipur Press Club today, advisor of the association Yambem Laba expressed that construction of a Raj Leela Hall inside Kangla strikes the sentiment of the people in the wake of Mite revivalism. Kangli Park Kanba Loop also appeals to keep in mind the sanctity of the religion concerned while carrying out any light and show music music show near Kangla. Masi, maso plan di makha da sabani hain hair gadi. Sabiyu, tau budu maso plan on pukro, ni man khabar da happy ro. Make it open. Why people put why the hand already established out na pass out na iba maso plan ni. Sisi Sagani, a quit on the Kanakan, a yenning blankers, I be when Pazan put up your cover the happy over. Angla Master Plan Senior Signatory Single Mamming Happy Kanakan and Sweet of Gimon. Adu Matunga Saramo, Saramo, Hire, Sarani, Hai Targeti Ming Dumdi Rasila Mandap Gogu, Mighty. A quick sentimental sway. Hive Dumdi are using. 
Helping Hands for People will organize a mega blood donation camp on, on October 27. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, advisor of the association Khoram Loyalakpa intimated that the blood donation camp will be held at Reims and Seizure Hospitals. He appeals to everyone for attending the camp. Now the sports news. The first two league matches of the ongoing North East Olympic Games men's football ended in draw at Kumanlam Park Artificial Tough Ground today. Manipur and Meghalaya both scored two goals each during their league match. Kangum and Ngameril Skom scored one goal each at 16th and 23rd minute for Manipur while Budon Kupar and Reddy Ton scored one goal each in the 80th and 90th minutes for Meghalaya. Assam and Sikkim also ended their league matches match in a 1-1 draw. Five football teams divided into two groups are competing in the ongoing games organized by Manipur Olympic Association under the aegis of North East Olympic Association. Subsequent matches will be played tomorrow. Meanwhile, Manipur is leading in wushu sports of the first North East Olympic Games. As Marshall M. Suraj and G. A. Subsan clinched gold, silver and bronze medals in men's Chang Kwan event respectively. While Manipur's N. G. Ayapa, Toshibala and Y. Sapna backed gold and silver medal along with Arunachal Pradesh, Mercy Ngaimong, who backed a bronze medal in women's Chang Kwan event. Manipur's H. Ramananda scored a gold in men's non Kwan, and Manipur's A. Sanathoi and T. Arita backed a gold and silver medal, respectively, in women's non Kwan event. In men's Taiji Kwan, Manipur's C. H. Ganeshwar backed a silver, while L. Sanatombi Chanu grabbed a gold in women's Taiji Kwan. Subsequent matches will be played tomorrow. Taekwondo, Taekwondo sports of the first North East Olympic Games kicked off today at Kuman Lampak Sports Complex NSA Indoor Stadium. In the individual male POMC event, Mizoram Lalklam Manpua fetched gold, Assam's Rajib Basumatri secured a silver, and Manipur's Nongdren Khaba and Sikkim's Pema Gyocha both fetched bronze medals. While in the individual female POMSI event, Assam's Harsha Singha and Sikkim's Salochana Limbo fetch gold and silver medals respectively and Manipur's KH Yaifabi and Mizoram's Lalrong Haki both shared the bronze medal. Altogether, 45 male and 42 female players and 16 officials of Northeast states are taking part in Taekwondo event of the Games. XJAM will be organizing extreme sports events at HVS Compound Patsoi in collaboration with Attitude X, HVS and Manipur Extreme Sports. The event will start tomorrow and end on October 28. Asia's four top BMX tunners from Thailand will showcase their performances and also train the youths of the state for three days. Skateboarding, BMX, freestyle and pump track are some of the highlights of the event. Renowned singer Tapta and various other music bands will be performing for their excited fans. Extreme Sports event organizer Irom Umananda intimated media that the event will be organized every year to promote extreme sports in the state. Even the way sports authority member of Haitai, who is sports and the Konai Stahon in Baitai. So already we Olympic is a layer for the youth Olympic Games to under skateboard chalet and then we be going a car in Sahago, be going in the breaking guys. This is one of the YOZ, who you Olympic Games is a Linisu. I want to see one of the who element because one time to win the which say he could in a calendar event or in a calendar who year the Huin Ti and say he could in Panko Nam Navaita. I don't matter the Huin Kalis in the way Hundred Kishma, who you know, Ragan, Matunda, Hena Hena, and the Lagna competition they host over. Now, before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee mocks BJP-led state government upon losing third best chief minister's rank as per latest India Today report.
Attendees of Combined Heels Leaders Day and Miam Ginomit at Chief Minister's Bangalore today urged authority concern to shun selective discharge of duties. Commando Moray arrests a man in possession of heroin powder worth over 13 lakh rupees in international market from Moray to Rail Wangma. Mobilization Subcommittee of October Mass Rally 2018 appeals to make October 31st Mass Rally a grand success. Says over 1.5 lakh people will take part in the rally. Mahot Minister Thaunojam Shyam Kumara shows to reconstruct two markets in Wangoi constituency. And the Huyen Lalong Manipur Thangta Cultural Association celebrates Diamond Jubilee today.